Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So the most traumatic thing in the world happened to me yesterday. My grocery store closed before I thought it did. So I went there at seven, it closed at six apparently. So I have this many avocados, this many cartons of egg white, and it's morning. So I thought, take advantage of it, do something new, and you know, post it for YouTube. So I'm gonna try every day this week, we'll see, to um, make something different for breakfast to give you guys a few different breakfast ideas that are usually pretty quick, easy, healthy, high in protein. So let's get started. Day number one, it's Monday. Keats, what day is it today? He doesn't know either. I think it's March 22nd. Here we go. The first one we're gonna make, well, the only one today, is going to be an egg and ham sandwich. So, because I do have a few regular eggs, and then I have this, oh, egg and turkey, sorry. This mock meat. Um, I don't use a lot of them, but every once in a while they're nice, and helpful to get protein. They're usually made from just like a textured soy protein so that they can be beneficial. I'm going to use one egg, two egg whites, I think, some whole wheat bread, some cherry tomatoes, and spinach. So, are you the person that puts the shells back in the carton because? You're a weirdo. That would literally be like putting empty bottles back into like your beer box, which is just also weird. I mean, obviously if you're recycling, then yeah. But, you know, as you're drinking, you wanna just continuously put them back in. You know what I'm saying? Keats, you know what I'm saying? I know. And let's use like three of these slices. I'm just gonna like kind of toss some of this on there. I always break off a few of the stems, but not all of them. I don't know why. And then hopefully they'll just like kind of wilt down. I know that there would be a better way to do this, so you don't need to come after me. I would also use regular tomato if I had it, but I only have the cherry tomatoes. So we're making do what we have. All right, then I'm gonna spread a little bit of this caramelized onion hummus on there. Since I don't have avocado, I'm just gonna use like about a tablespoon. Yes, I do use these little dinky pieces sometimes. I just like really hate to waste food, so I need to. All right, then somehow I'm gonna plop this buddy on there. Oh, oh. Kind of working, kind of working. Tomatoes, eat sriracha. Also, if you don't do this with your spring onions, put them in a little bit of water, you're crazy. Based in food. Um, so we're gonna chop up a little bit of those to throw on. Focus. Got my spinach there. Take a taste test. Mmm. Sorry, I took a really big bite. That was so good. The little bit of sweetness that this gives is really nice. And then obviously spicy with the sriracha on there. A little bit of tang from the green onion. That fake turkey is really good. I like love this. Mmm. And macro wise, we're sitting at about 284 calories, 27 grams of carbs, 9 grams of fat, and 24 grams of protein. Woo! Yeah, that's that. I'm gonna eat it and run off to work. So that was the first one. And I'll see you tomorrow.
Okay, I'm fully aware that it's only the second day of all my different breakfasts, but of course, like avocado toast was going to be it one of the days of the week. And I went and got groceries yesterday, and obviously, I just needed to put it to use for my favorite breakfast, and I promise the rest of them will be different. If you need um, a little bit more of a walkthrough of this, it's definitely posted on one of my other videos. I'll link it here. So, um, this is breakfast, and it's my favorite. Mm. I missed it. Truly missed it. See you tomorrow. Again, it is Wednesday, so breakfast number three coming at you. And what we're gonna do is like a veggie sausage scramble. So we're gonna use kale and caramelized onion sausages. I'm just gonna use half of one. Some egg whites and tomatoes, so we're gonna whip it all up. It's gonna be quick, and I'll show you when it's done. All right. Oh, better. This looks so good. Like, I'm stoked about it. And it comes in at 40 grams of carbs. Obviously, that can vary depending on how much sweet potato you want. Only 4 grams of fat and 33 grams of protein. So, my fat's pretty low today, so this actually worked out good to try something new inside of my avocado toast. And I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. So some tomato, sausage, sweet potato, egg, and some kale. That's unreal. Oh my god, maybe I should switch up my breakfast more. I love to cook and I love to try new recipes. But I just love my avocado toast so much. Mmm, just so good. And there's so much food here too. Like this bowl is huge. Okay, this was a win. You should definitely make this. And it was so quick. Like, the best part about this was that it took me, like, I don't know, six minutes to whip up. Especially since, like, I prepped the sweet potatoes last night and then massaged and washed the kale last night as well. So I just literally needed to throw everything into a pan and call it good. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, excuse my like bedtime look, but I'm so impressed with this. I can't believe how well it turned out. Like it's actually going to be able to wrap. Incredible, incredible. I'm going to do the rest tomorrow morning. Hopefully it works. Um, but I just wanted to take or test one out tonight. Because honestly, there's nothing more defeating than like planning something, especially for breakfast, because it's the start of your day, and it doesn't turn out. Oh, Heartbreaking like when you think you have avocado toast for the morning and The world is just like no yeah. This is good though. I'm happy. So I got my tortillas over here I made this one this morning and still turned out pretty good Got my fillings going on here. I wish I had beans But I don't for some reason and I always have beans on hand But I'm gonna use a little bit of this chili for a filling as well Okay, my camera's probably gonna die on me here, so we'll do this taste test really, really quick. But I'm so excited. These look unreal. So 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Also, the tortillas started falling apart when I started mashing the avocado, so just don't mash your avocado on here. Mmm, -hmm. I can't believe how well that tortilla is. And these are amazing. Definitely make them. I have to use a fork and knife now, but it's like a Mexican crepe. Wow, I'm trying new breakfast ideas thing. Such a good idea. Mm -hmm. Today is my low carb day, and this is like the best option I could have. Good morning, it is Friday, and we are going to make some sweet potato kale savory waffles. Never done before, hoping it turns out for the best because I'm very hungry. So I'm just going to blend everything up and hopefully make it nice and easy and it works out. So I have some roasted sweet potatoes from earlier on in the week. Let's go with 50 grams of some kale. I'm going to do a tablespoon of vital wheat gluten, an egg. All right, then I'm gonna use my quarter teaspoon, which I don't think I've ever, ever used. Um, we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and then of a whole bunch of different spices. So onion, garlic, and turmeric, and black pepper, and salt. Also going to add in another quarter cup of egg whites. So it looks pretty thick because it's not moving. Well, not a lot anyway, so let's see what it's like. Interesting. It looks disgusting. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that color. It's very green. Okay, so it actually has good flavor. Uh, let's cook it up. Okay, and then over here I'm sauteing up some garlic mushrooms and I'm gonna do like a little lemon cream saucy thing. Okay, right, so a little bit of milk, lemon, rice vinegar, some hummus, and tahini. And lastly, a little bit of roasted red pepper sauce and then we'll dump that on. Very excited about these. Let's give them a go. Mm. Very good. I don't know what you would call that sauce that I made, but that's unreal. And how the hot tomatoes just kind of like explode in your mouth. I don't know what, what other way to say that. It's so good. I have no idea what the macros are for this right now, but I'll post them later. And um, thank you so much for watching all these videos. And hopefully you got some meal ideas. Obviously these are all um, like savory dishes. I like to start my morning off with something savory because I find if I do something sweet then I'm craving kind of sweets all day. So these are very, very satisfying. There wasn't even one that like I didn't like. After I think about it tomorrow, I'll tell you what my favorite one is. Comment what recipe uh, you're most excited to maybe try or if you're not gonna try it, what one you think looks the best at least. But um, thank you so much for watching and have a great whatever day you're having and like the video, please. That would really help me out, it'd mean the world. Subscribe if you are not yet, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.